Hi guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Um, this is going to be a quick video. I promise. <laughs> I'm not cooking. Um, I got um, a delivery here in this big cooler and I wanted to tell you about it. I am not an affiliate. Um, I had a friend share with me um, about White Oak Pasture Farms and their pasture raised um, meat. They do pork, heritage pork. Um, they also do, uh, I'm not sure if I say that, if I'm saying this right, the Iberico pork. I don't know if, I, if that's how you say it or not, but um, they do that. They do pasture raised chicken, um, grass fed, grass finished beef. And I had heard about this farm many years ago um, because I had a friend who was big at, she was into marketing and stuff and she actually went on the farm saw their their practices and raved about their products and that kind of was in the back of my head they, this company is in Georgia they're they're in South Georgia I believe it's Southwest Georgia and um, and so they had gotten picked up. Our first time I think I saw them was in Whole Foods locally. Um, this has been many years back. And so they were one of the, I guess one of the first farms that were more local um, before I, I kind of started meeting ranchers and stuff at the farmer's market. So I have purchased, I've purchased their beef before and I think I have purchased their pork before. Um, I have not ever had any of their chicken, but anyway, they, um, the, one of the owners, um, was interviewed on, um, the, uh, um, Joe Rogan show podcast or something like that. And apparently, um, I guess Whole Foods, Amazon didn't like some of the stuff he said, so they broke a contract with them. They stopped shipping and selling their meats in December and then a video appeared um, I think it was in mid-April and from a customer in Virginia that showed that Whole Foods was selling or claiming to sell their pasture-raised grass-fed grass-finished beef and they took a picture and all that so he did like a video last week explaining that that was not theirs and if it was they had to have done something because they had not gotten a shipment since December so it was not fresh meat so um, the long story short is this is a farm in my home state they do um, they have good farming practices they treat their animals well and they had a great sale and my friend was telling me about it um, because she had started buying her beef and a lot of her pork, but mainly her beef from them and chicken. And so I went to their site and I placed an order and it just came, literally it just came. It's a massive cooler here. I have ordered pasture raised, um, poultry before from a farm. Um, I believe it was in Arkansas I think the farm was in Arkansas and um, I enjoyed getting that my problem was with everything the costs became really expensive and I found a more local source where I could get pasture raised poultry and so um, I tried to kind of switch to that but it's been interesting because I have had a hard time the last I guess a couple months getting I like to get chicken feet to make my bone broth and I don't know if everyone's figured out the whole chicken feet thing <laughs> but this local farm they've been selling out and so I have not been able to get any get any and so that was one of the items they had they actually had chicken feet turkey feet they had all the things um, and so I just wanted to kind of show you what I got so in the unboxing, I am showing that uh, in these silver packages, this is the Iberico lard. 
Um, I got one that is have mercy salt and herb and one um, lard have mercy uh, just salt for cooking sauteing things I got five pounds of chicken feet I got three pounds of uh, chicken legs I got um, two different varieties of the Iberico um, sausages that they have um, so, one of them was a pancetta and one of them is a buffaro sausage i'm not sure if i'm saying that right um, i also ended up getting some um, almost three pounds of soup bone beef soup bones for stock i got 10 pounds of grass-fed grass-finished ground beef and 10 pounds of the um, pasture-raised pork um, that was the, what was on BOGO, so I paid for five and I got five free. My total was 262 with about 33 pounds of pasture-raised meat. That came to $7.93 per pound. I hope you found value in that. Um, if you did, I would love a thumbs up. If you have any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. If you'll just leave it in the comments below. Um, I will leave a link to their website. Um, and I highly recommend you go check them out. They have great recipes. Matter of fact, they had a great recipe for um, oxtails. I did not buy any oxtails. I almost did, but I have some from my cow share. But I'm going to use their recipe and use my oxtails. But next time, I probably will get some oxtails from them. Um, because that's like one of our favorites. That's just like such a decadent, oh, something, something. So, um, but yes, they had a lot of great information on there. So I will put that as well in the description. Um, if you are new here and you like all things in the kitchen and shopping deals, you know, with real food um, or in, you're into gardening, uh, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel, check or check out some more videos if you're not sure. And hopefully you will subscribe and and um, and become part of our sewing back family. So with that, I thank you. I thank you for watching. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll see you next time. Bye.